Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Game Swim. Today, we are going to look at some of the ways that players are getting banned from Grand Theft Auto roleplays in 2021. There are actually a lot of ways that players can find themselves banned from roleplays. Of course, there are the standard ways that players are prompted to watchers. Making fun of someone's race, gender, or sexuality is a massive way to get banned. While in the beginning of GTA, those types of comments were able to slide, not anymore. If you genuinely make fun of someone in a malicious way, you will find yourself on the outside looking in. Another way to get banned is to break the server's specific rules. Now this one is more based on what the admin teams deem inappropriate or wrong for their own servers. If one of the rules is that you have to put in so many hours a week of playtime and you are not meeting up to those standards, you can find yourself banned. If that server requests that you follow a script within a certain percentage of accuracy and you go rogue, well, guess what? Banned. Hey, sometimes the rules don't always seem fair. Sometimes your own personal behavior towards other players can get you banned. If you're just a really annoying person and you pester everyone else who is playing, they can ban you for just not fitting in with the group. And while this may seem especially harsh, the rise of trolls and a generation of gamers who never leave their computers, the subtle art of social skills can be strongly lacking online. Not to mention the significantly higher rate of younger players who haven't learned yet that there are certain social rules that most people should follow. Just because you are playing cops, robbers, drug dealers, and gangsters does not mean that you can treat people disrespectfully once the role play is done and there have been a few instances where this is what gets people banned. They simply don't shut their roleplay off when it's over. One of the most recent big bans from GTA RP is from NoPixel. While sometimes there is a lot of wiggle room for players to be creative and have fun, there is also a limit to how far they can go. If a player goes too far off the path the scripters lay out for these roleplayers, it throws everyone else off and makes it too difficult for the other players to improvise and get the story back on track. This just generally makes for a bad role play. They aren't fun to participate in or to watch when no one else knows what they're doing. So naturally, the person that puts the game off course say goodbye because you gotta go. Even if there are hundreds of good reasons players can get banned, there are also a ton of really bad reasons they get banned. And honestly, this is going to be the death of the role-playing community. There are people who are in charge of role-play servers that will ban people for just being better than they are. If a player is better than the creator, they will ban that player so that they continue to look better. While this is a really dumb reason to get banned, it does happen. Other than some of the pretty dumb and petty ways that people get banned, it's actually pretty easy not to get banned. Don't be a jerk. If you want to run a role-play a certain way, make your own. It really is that simple. For the most part, just follow the rules of the server and the rules the admins give, and you won't have to worry about getting banned. What is the craziest ban story you've heard about? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe so you never miss a swim with Game Swim.